is our foveated AR, and, and this is the prototype wearable um, demo that you can see on this 3D printed human head. And to demonstrate its functionality, we have uh, little webcams inside of the eyeballs with motors in the head to have the eyes move. Um, and the reason we need to do that is because to keep this working, it needs to track and follow the eye. So we have motors moving the display elements. Um, and then here you can see the view through the camera of the two displays. So this white one is the high resolution inset and the green is the periphery. And you can see that both of those things are able to move along with the camera. And it turns out this is actually an even harder problem with the camera because the camera has a smaller aperture than your eye. And so keeping them positioned on the eye is harder here than it is for, for it, than it would be on a person. Uh, of course you would want to calibrate it for the interpupillary distance and all that on a, a real person. Um, How fast so, are you moving the optics to, to call it a, foveated? That, that's a good question. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. I wonder if this flyer says... Um, so that, that's for the that per first one. prescription yeah. and this is for the foveated. Uh, do we have it there? Cycles per degree. Wearables, 30 cycles per degree. Yeah, that's just resolution. Optical path design. It, it doesn't have to move very far or all that fast because as you can see, th this motion is only a few millimeters. So we only got it, we only have to move about 10 millimeters. Um, but how many people were involved in this research? There, there were, our, our group has about 15 people. And, and so, you know, <coughs> most of us were involved in this at some point in, in some aspect. There are other parts of the research that we aren't necessarily showing here, but. Uh, so the middle area is, is very high resolution, and uh, sorry, when the head moves, yeah, if, I, sort of, if I turn this light on, you might get a better view of the cameras moving. So when the eye moves, the display moves to follow 